In today's tech tip, we're going to go over how to convert your machine control and post files from Mastercam 2017 to 2018. The first thing we're going to do is go to the file tab. We're going to go down to convert. Here we're going to select migration wizard. In the migration wizard we have two choices, basic and advanced. Basic kind of just does everything automatically, uh, including your file, just everything. Um, it's been my experience and we found it more useful to kind of control and watch pieces that you're going to migrate over to the new version by using the advanced tab. So I selected the advanced tab. Here I'm going to choose migrate shared MCAMX files. This is where the machine control and post files reside in the software. So the source folder is telling us the data path of Mastercam 2017, the shared directory. Uh, the destination is the shared directory of 2018. However, if you have these files located on the network, you can browse here and change these data paths as you see fit. Um, if you have a 2017 folder for all these pieces uh, on your network, you could create a 2018 folder and uh, point to that folder for your destination. Next, I will click the next button. These are the file types that we're looking to convert or migrate into 2018. I'm going to unselect all of them by selecting this checkbox here. Here I'm going to precisely select the control definitions, machine definitions, and the post files. So here I've controlled what we're focusing on when we do this migration. I'm not just letting it grab everything and who knows what's coming over and what's it doing. Here I'm able to control this. So you can go through this process and go through part files, operation libraries, kind of do it independently. So you kind of walk through uh, the process. Then you can go double check, make sure everything came across correctly. Uh, th this is the method that I recommend um, to just be aware of what's coming across and what may cause an error if you do have an error. Um, just easier to keep track of. Here I'm going to hit next. These are the versions that it's looking for to migrate into 2018. Keep in mind that Mastercam X8 is the oldest version that 2018 will recognize to migrate in. I'm going to select uh, versions to deselect the uh, selections here. I'm going to select Mastercam 2017. That's the version that I'm wanting to migrate in. Uh, I'm going to hit next here. This is a summary of what we're doing. Our shared source folder is 2017. Our shared destination folder is Mastercam 2018. Uh, the files that we're going to migrate in are control definitions, machine definitions, and post files. And the version that those files are coming from is 2017. And I'll select finish. So now the software is going to go through and make copies of your 2017 files and place them into 2018. Just make a note that your 2017 files are not disturbed. We're simply copying them and putting them into 2018 and during that process we're making any changes to them so that they'll run in 2018. This prompt that's came up is an indication that it's seen like file names. So for example, if there's a default mill or default control in 2017 that maybe you don't use, it already resides in 2018. So at this point, unless you have edited one of the defaults, um, it's not necessary to copy that into 2018 and go through the migration. It already resides there. It's the same information. Um, so here I would apply this action to all subsequent conflicts. Um, if you're just bringing in all of your custom posts, then you can say do not update this file. If you have edited defaults that you think may be affected and are, are files that you use, um, you may want to say update and replace the original file in the destination folder. So that's the difference between these two. If you know everything that you use has got a custom name on it, 
then we simply select this red circle with the slash for do not update the selected file. So here it's went through, it's brought all those files into 2018. This confirmation tells me that the update process is complete. Do you want to see the results? At this point in time, no. So the next order of business in 2018 is now to go through each of your machines, your mill, your lathe, wire router, whatever you got, mill turn. So mill, I want to go manage list. Once you've done the update process, you'll see your list of custom machines here. Uh, here's a Makino. I want to add the Makino to my list. So I select it and I hit add. Some of these other ones, if they're not necessary, I can go remove them. This is how you manage the list. I'm going to go ahead and say OK here. So when I go to mill, that list is what drops down here so I can quickly select the equipment that, that's in the shop that I need to program for. Uh, you do that for each of your other machines that you have licenses for that you program in. Um, and this is how you migrate your machine control and post from 2017 to 2018 Mastercam. And like I said earlier, the oldest version that 2018 will recognize is Mastercam X8. So with that being said, that concludes this tech tip. I hope it was useful and I thank you for your time.